In this video, I'm going to show you how you can visualize data on any website using ChatGPT. The first thing is that you will go to GPT-4. We are going to go to plugins. And in this video, we are going to be using two different plugins. The first one is going to be diagram plugin, which lets you create charts, graphs, and visualize the data. And then we are also going to be using WebPilot plugin, which lets you access the data on any website. I found that the WebPilot plugin is way more efficient and way faster than this browse with Bing feature here. So I would always recommend you to use this one. Many people don't know, but this one is also very, very good for SEO. I have a whole video about it, so I'm gonna link it down below. All right, so let's say that you have been doing some research online, either for yourself or maybe for your work, and you find an article that you think that has good data that you would want to visualize. And afterwards, you would want to share these visuals with your boss, manager, or maybe even friends or family. Here we have an article that we came across while we were doing our research. And this one is specifically mentioning number of ChatGPT users in 2023. If you scroll down, you can see that there's a lot of data in the form of text but also in the form of table. We have website, total visits, bounce rates, a keywords table, country table, as well as table, which summarizes level of ChatGPT awareness in different age groups. And so this article has a lot of data that we would want to visualize, and then we would want to potentially share it with our manager, for example. So we are going to copy the URL of this article. Now, what I wanted to say is that the diagram plugin lets you visualize the data with five different charts, bar chart, line chart, area chart, donut chart, as well as pie chart. So these five are the only ones at this current time that this plugin can use. So in our first prompt, we are writing access the data on this website through the WebPilot plugin. Here we pasted the URL link and then we are writing visualize the table that mentions the online platform and how long it took them to reach 1 million active users with a bar chart. We are going to send this one. We actually tell ChatGPT to do this task in this sequence. So firstly, you use the WebPilot plugin and then that data you found on the website, you use diagram to visualize the data. All right, so firstly, we got some formatting error as it says here, but the good thing about these plugins is that they are automatically also trying to find the error and solve it for you. So then the plugin was used once again, the formatting was fixed. And right now we got the chart. The visual is going to appear inside ChatGPT, but if you want to make this bigger, you can also click on the link that this plugin has provided. If you click on this one, you are going to be redirected to a page that looks like this. You can see we have a headline time taken by various online platforms to reach 1 million users. If we go from the longest one, we can see Netflix, took the longest, then we can see ChatGPT took only 0.16 of the month. Now the formatting error that we had was because of this table here. The table is formatted in days, months, but as well as years. So it was confused about which format it should use. So actually what it did was that it converted everything for us automatically to have months as our main metric. Here you can see a description of the table as well. Time is represented in months. For ChatGPT, the time is less than a month, so it's converted to a fraction of a month. And then you also have the link that you can share with anyone else right now to access this visual. You can see that the link has a special code. So whenever someone visits this link exactly, they are going to be always redirected to this page, which has this visual. If we copy this and go to incognito and we double check, you can see that it works. All right, we are not finished yet. There are four other visuals that you can create with this plugin. So definitely watch until the end of this video. And so the second visual you can create with this plugin is a line chart. We are going to write to access the block once again. And then we are also going to write down to visualize the table that mentions the ChatGPT monthly visits using a line chart. We are going to send this and we are talking about this table specifically here. So we have month and then we have number of visits. We successfully used the WebPilot plugin and the data looks right. And right now we are using the diagram plugin automatically to visualize this data. Right now we don't have any problems with formatting. So it went ahead and created the line chart for us. So we can again go ahead and click on the link if we want to make this bigger. We get this nice visual over here that is representing the months on the x-axis and then we have the number of visits on the y-axis. The number of visits is represented in millions, so we got the number of units correctly as well. This represents the last six months, as you can see in the title of this chart. The highest number of visits were actually in April 2023. 
The third visual that we can create with this diagram plugin is an area chart. Here I'm writing down create an area chart of the table on this page mentioning I have used it myself to generate text. On the y-axis put the values in percentage and on the x-axis put the age groups. We are going to send this out. And as you can see here, because we are in the same conversation and in the same chat, ChatGPT actually remembers the link that we have provided in this conversation already. So right now it got the age groups as we needed, as well as the percentage of people who have used the chat GPT to generate the text. And so just like that, we got the visual here and we also got a summary of this area chart. You can view the interactive chart here. As you can see, the uses of chat GPT is highest among the 30 and 44 age group, followed by 18 to 29 age group. The usage decreases with age being lowest in the 65 plus age group. If we click on the link, we are again going to be redirected to this nice landing page. We have a title percentage of people using ChatGPT to generate text by age group. And then we have the description. The percentages represent the proportion of people in each age group who have used ChatGPT to generate text. You can again copy this link and share it with your boss, manager, or family if you want to. The fourth visual that you can generate with this plugin is a donut chart. Access the data on this website through the WebPilot plugin. Visualize the table that mentions the total visits of different websites with a donut chart. We are going to send this one. In this example, we are trying to access this data in this table. We have the website name in this column, and then we have the total visits for each of the website. You can see that it's in billions, so it shouldn't have problems with formatting. Yep, the data looks correct. And just like that, we got the donut chart. As you can see, Google has the highest number of visits followed by YouTube and Facebook. ChatGPT, despite being a newer platform, also has a significant number of visits. If we click on the link, we have this nice donut chart over here. You can also hover over the specific website in the legend and then it's going to highlight each of the part of the donut chart. The number of visits are represented in millions. So the biggest one is Google, then we have YouTube, then Facebook, and then uh, at the end we have ChatGPT. The fifth visual that you can create with this plugin is a pie chart. Here I'm writing access the data on this website through the WebPilot plugin. Visualize the table that mentions the distribution of ChatGPT users by country with a pie chart. We are going to send this one. And here we are trying to access the table that looks like this. We have the country and then we have the proportion of ChatGPT users. All right, the data looks correct. And right now we are going to be using the diagram plugin once again. And just like that, we got the pie chart. As you can see, the largest proportion of ChatGPT users reside in the US, followed by India and Japan. The category others represents all other countries combined. You can again click on the link. You can actually put this in dark mode if you want to. And here we have the distribution of ChatGPT users by country. So here you can see out of all users, 15.2% are coming from the United States. India is 6.3, Japan 4%, Colombia 3.3, Canada 2.75. And then we have other countries in the world. All right, if you enjoyed this video or if you learned anything new, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're interested in tech and AI, definitely subscribe down below because I post every single week. Thank you so much and have a great day.